Role-playing game masters, I think that you are not learning a lesson or paying attention to a lesson, and that's why you're not able to move on into the next cycle. You're eager to move on to the next cycle, but you still have some stuff you need to release before you can do so. Before we do get started, if you would like to take your game mastering skills to more of a five-dimensional world and learn how to read tarot cards and read spreads like this... Please go down to the description box below and read all about my new offer called the 3030, where I'm actually going to be teaching people how to complete a new first draft of a story with tarot cards by the astrological new year of uh, March of 2025. If uh, you sign up now, you'll have free access to the Flow Your Mojo community until December 31st of 2025. So it's just all sorts of fun. <laughs> you got judgment. This is your most important card. This is the second chance card in the deck, in my opinion, to where you can actually, you've been on a mission, you've been on a roll, you've been on a adventure, and you have a lesson here, and you can either, this is where you take that lesson, and you can move on into the next cycle, or you kind of are stuck, and you decide to not do it at all, and just kind of don't grow as a human. So because it's in reverse, there's a lesson you haven't learned yet, and um, all the cards are kind of pointing to that. Um, and I'm going to tell you kind of how to figure out what that lesson is in a in a few minutes. You did get the Fool card. Uh, the Fool card is a very naive person who is willing to go on a new adventure. This is what I think you're wanting to do. I don't think you're ready to do this. So just keep that in mind. You have the King of Pentacles. If you do decide to go onto this new cycle without learning this lesson, you're going to need to be extremely safe with who you talk to, uh, who you talk to about your projects, put up some personal protections, something of that nature. I just kind of feel like if you're not, if you don't release some of this stuff that you have going on and you're carrying it with you, it's going to hold you back and you're going to move extremely slow. And it's not, you're not going to take as many risks as you might want to take in order to keep moving your, your project forward. We have the Six of Swords. In my opinion, this is the refugee card moving from a place of hurt to a place of more of a healing space. Because it's reversed, you need to stay put. This is the Two of Cups. A lot of people associate this with meeting a new person, meeting a new business partner, meeting a new partner, meeting a new boyfriend, girlfriend, dating a new friend. Because it's in reverse, there's something on the inside you probably need to get more associated with and uh, get to know yourself a little bit better. Here we have the Four of Cups. The Four of Cups is usually associated with boredom. If we turn this around, we've got this guy who has these three cups down here. He's kind of bored with what he's got and he's kind of wanting to have something else be given to him, a new cup, a new idea. But with this being reversed, I think you have, I think you need to be happy with what you got right now. Six of Wands is about recognition and being recognized because it's reversed. Please don't go out and be recognized yet. I think you've still got some internal work to do. The Ten of Wands is reversed. Tens are completion of a cycle in the tarot. Whenever for me a ten comes up, it means the querent hasn't quite accepted the ending of the cycle. You are carrying way too much and you have not accepted an ending. You are probably taking on way too much and taking on way too many responsibilities. You need to somehow delegate some of that. In addition, you also got the Ten of Swords in reverse. So the Ten of Swords, again, is completion, but you're thinking too much. Um, it could be you haven't accepted a full ending yet. Some people think that this is kind of a healing card a little bit when it terms it comes comes up like this because the swords have a tendency to fall out. Ultimately, what I'm going to ask you to do is pay attention to the card at the bottom of the deck, which is the Seven of Pentacles. The Seven of Pentacles is taking stock of how far you've come. I know that you have a long way to go and you know where you want to go and you want to bigger and better things, but you need to kind of understand where you're at now and learn that lesson. Um, I don't think it's time to pick these fruits. I don't think it's time to move on into the next cycle yet. You need to just kind of like see what you have and see what you have to work with. Uh, before we do move on from the cards, you do have seven out of 10 reversed cards. So you are really going to want to pay attention to blocked, delayed internal or healing energy. Uh, numbers you're going to want to pay attention to are 20, 0, 4, 6, 2, 4, 6, 10, 10, and 7. Now, if you add all those up, you get 69. 
Six plus nine equals 15, which is the devil card in the major arcana of the tarot. It usually means addiction or our, our you know, our spiciness or our kinks or going into our, being the bad boy, kind of that, that kind of stuff. The stuff that we feel kind of guilty about. But I just kind of feel like there's probably some inner dark secret or inner dark thing that you need to kind of accept in order to move on into the next cycle so that you can use the full card to your advantage. To take that one step further, you can go one plus five equals six. And six in the major arcana is the lover's card. The lover's card is actually not about finding a lover or actually um, being in love. It's actually more about dedication. Who and what are you going to be dedicating yourself to? Is there some kind of a dedication that you haven't accepted yet? Is there is there a point as is there a responsibility as a game master that you have not accepted yet that you are um scared to put on put that hat on or something like that it just kind of feels like there might be a little bit of an acceptance thing that needs to be happening current elementally wise we have earth air fire and water you do seem to be fairly leveled out on all of them i'm actually going to tell you to pay attention to the fool and judgment card the planets that are associated with the fool and judgment card are pluto and uranus but I'm going to guide you and to tell you how to use the planet Uranus, uh, Uranus and Pluto. What I want you to do is as you're looking those up, I feel like there's a lesson here that you're not quite sure what you're learning, what quite sure what you're ready to release or what you want to release. Um, I think that that's kind of what's going on here. So use Pluto and Uranus to discover what that thing is so that you can kind of have a light bulb moment and say, oh, that is something I needed to release. Let it go so you can go on into the new cycle. I think those two plans will tell you what you need to release. Colors that you're probably going to want to pay attention to are red and light orange. I do pull three extra cards for you. The first one you got was money. So I think you're on a good track. I just think you need to release some stuff in order to get this money. This one's a little off, but the second card you got was mistaken identity. So I'm not sure where that's going with this. There could be a mistaken identity thing going on with this lesson that you need to learn. Um, I wonder if it's like double, not double cross, but I just, I don't, I don't know. What is, the, what does this card mean to you? The last card we have here are how are political debates resolved in your world? So I'm Chris and I help screenwriters and fiction authors and game masters uh, write five dimensional stories using my tarot cards. If you would like to learn how to read tarot cards and write five-dimensional stories and read spread tarot spreads like this for your stories, please go down to the description box below and read all about my new offer called the 3030, where I'm actually going to be teaching you how to read tarot cards and showing you 30 spreads uh, in the spring of 2025 so that you can have a completed first draft uh, by the, by the uh, astrological new year of March of 2025. And uh, you can also have free access to the Flow Your Mojo community until uh, December 31st, 2025. Uh, there's also a 20% off coupon code. With that, please like, subscribe, follow, and share, and happy Halloween.